<laughs> Jimmy. I'm sorry about that. I shouldn't be jumping to your arms like that. It's okay. It's not okay. I mean, we're just friends. True. Yes? I don't want to be just friends. Oh. True, I know how much you needed me, and I'm so sorry I let you down. If you give me another chance, I promise I'll be totally professional. That's just it, Lulu. I don't want you to be totally professional. I mean, we're just kids. I don't need an assistant as much as I need a best friend. I think I can juggle both of those jobs. So can I. Does that mean I'm unfired? I hereby unfire you. <gasps> With a raise? No. <laughs> you okay? I'm sitting on the floor in a ball gown. It makes you think anything's wrong. We heard. I feel so stupid. Don't say that. I really thought he was going to ask me. And the whole time, he just went to ask Vivian. No, oh, what a mutt. I mean, with her modely hair and that modely face. I hate her. I don't. I wish I did, but I don't. She's really nice. I'm OK. Really. Guys, she get going. We're not going anywhere. Unless you're in the mood for some yogurt. What about the Shetland Ponies? Uh, it's more like the Shetland Phonies. I mean, yeah, they sing awesome songs and put on an elaborate stage show. We get it! <laughs> well, finding a Duke to dance with? If the Duke really loves me, he'll wait. Are you sure? This is what BFFs do! And BBSKs. I love you guys. All right, let's go get that yogurt. I'm buying. Since when do you have any money? Uh, since Lulu asked me to hold a purse. <laughs> True, being a creative person is both a blessing and a curse. Sometimes we come up with an idea that makes every synapse in our brain scream, wow. Other times we come up with a feather suit. If you didn't like the feather suit, why didn't you just tell me? Oh, you got me wrong. I loved your feather suit. I thought we weren't lying anymore. Well, I didn't love the suit itself. It's awful. Train wreck of a design, poorly conceived, impractically constructed. Thanks. I feel much better. <laughs> but I love the inspiration that led you to make it. True, you can't succeed in anything unless you're willing to experiment. And you can't experiment unless you're willing to fail. And that's why I love that suit. Thanks. But it was wrong of me not to tell the truth. I won't do it again, and that's a promise. Like when you promised to buy Copeland a house if he could eat 30 pies. He only ate 29. I counted the pans. I stand by my ruling. <laughs> Finally alone. That had to have been the world's worst first date. I thought my parents' first date was bad. They got stuck on top of a Ferris wheel, and my mom was all, climb down the stairs, Larry. <laughs> that was the night my dad broke both his legs. <laughs> Well, we can still turn the night around. You want to go to Happy Berry? I should probably get home. I've got school tomorrow. Oh, no. I still have a whole chapter to read. Oh, yeah, and I have to get back to the office and finish the mail run I skipped because I was getting ready for tonight. This has been the most exhausting night of my life. True. Yes? Oh, no, I was a green. I should have just said, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we can try again tomorrow night. Jimmy. I don't know if I'm ready to do this. And I like you too much to mess up what we could have because I couldn't give us 100%. Then maybe we should wait. You know, until a better time. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry? Whatever for? I feel like this whole thing with me distracted you from your contest. So? So you lost. Mr. Christini beat you again. No, he got the golden spool. But I'm the real winner. Thank you. Jimmy. True. You're quitting? Yeah. When did Uncle Max tell you? Right after I told him I was quitting. You did? True, that's crazy. You were right. You're an executive. You're important. I'm just the male guy. Don't say that, Jimmy. You're the glue that holds this place together. Well, yeah. 
I'm the glue. <laughs> and you're important. Mostly you're important to me, and if I have to choose between you and a job, well, I choose you. I choose you, too. My dress is ruined! Everything's ruined! Stop it! Nothing's ruined! But my dress! It's not about the dress, Doris. Life isn't about what you wear, or cakes, or parties, or who sits next to whom. Life is about two people who look across a crowded room and only see each other. That's what today's about, and that's all that matters. Sorry, whoever you are. But right now, there's something I need to say. Drew Jackson, I love you. You know that guy? Hey, that's Kenny Chesney. I don't care about what anyone thinks. I'm gonna say it a thousand times. As you know, the company's very, very important to me. I never thought I'd find something I love more than Mad Style, but I did. You know why? Yes. Mm. Which is why I'm retiring. Retiring? Why? Because I'm going to be a daddy. Not just any daddy. A stay-at-home daddy. What about Miss Adam? Oh, I could never ask Doris to leave the library. It means the world to her. Well, then who's going to run Mad Style? You are. Mr. Madigan, I'm flattered and all, but I can't run a business. Sure you can. But there are people who've been there longer than me. Why don't you give the company to Amanda? I don't want to say anything bad about Amanda, especially on her wedding day, but she can be, a, well, a little immature. Where are you going? I want you to jump in that fountain. We're ten games out of the World Series of Peru. I can't turn into a kid. You're choosing baseball over me? Get back here, Brock! I don't know, Mr. Madigan. You really think I can do it? I think you can do anything. Thanks. I'll try and make you proud. You already have. I really did it. Yeah, we really did. I guess we're gonna have to think up some new dreams now. I got some ideas.